Hello, everyone. Thank you for t uh, tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Today's is from July 19th, and I quote, If you polish your Buddha nature with the awareness of being the child of God or Buddha, it will surely bloom and you'll be able to attain a certain level of enlightenment. This is the same principle as democracy from the laws of secret by Master Ryuho Kaba. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, uh, today's uh, words of wisdom is going to be from a more of a little, it's a little different angle. It's more of like a macro teachings of Master Okawa, not in the micro teachings, and not like the individual happiness, but more of like a uh, how Master Okawa's teachings is not just the teachings of a bodhisattva, which is what I just explained, helping each individual become happier and wealthier. Uh, it's also the teachings of Tathagata, uh, meaning it has a teach, it has a, a power to. Uh, reform the society. It has a power of social reform. So, going back to today's words of wisdom. Uh, in Buddhism, as you know, in happy science, Master's taught us that every single human being is a child of God. You're a child of God, all right? Do not forget this fact. You are a brilliant, bright, shining uh, light itself. Uh, innately, you are wonderful and beautiful, and you are right and just, and you are wise. Uh, you have power. That is who we actually are. However, uh, because we're given freedom of what to think, we adopt mistaken views and wrong thoughts and that accumulates and that's blocking the light, our inner light to shine through. So uh, that's why we do self-reflection and we study these teachings. But to, in the get-go, in the get-go, in the very beginning, our souls are shining brilliantly just like God. Uh, even though it's a smaller version, but we're, we have the same tendency, we have the same traits as Him. So, uh, if you shine it, 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 you know, it shines. Now, um, in democracy, uh, what is a democratic world? Uh, the opposite of that is, I guess, like aristocracy or in the back, uh, the Middle Evil Ages, where only, you know, kings and queens existed and peasants existed, right? Uh, if you're born as a peasant, you'll always be a peasant. That, that's the age. That was the age in the past. past. But in the democracy, even if you were born in a very poor household, uh, you can still work hard and become successful in the future. That's what a democracy is. Even if you were born as a child of a huge company, uh, if you don't make the correct efforts uh, and if you become conceited, unfortunately, those people will end up um, uh, in a very unfortunate way in their lives. So uh, that's the principle of democracy. Uh, it, it's meritocracy. Um, I guess it's like the more, the harder you work, the more benefits you achieve. That's democracy. So that's a political principle, and the first part is a religious principle, but this religious principle of shining your boot in nature and the democrat the political principle of making efforts will allow you to 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 gain higher ground and gain a better status in society, these two ma match. That's what's important. So a lot of the times when people say, oh, it's so bad that, you know, Happy Science has a political party, Happiness Realization Party in Japan. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, the separation of church and state, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, uh, and what they usually say is like, oh, if a religious leader starts reli uh, a politics, they'll become a dictator. But that's certainly not true because Master always promotes democracy. He's always for democracy. And the reason behind that is that this teaching is the, the core of it, I believe. It's the foundation of why Lord God, Master Yohokawa, promotes democracy. Because it is in line with this religious truth, which is above political principles. Religious truth is more important than uh, worldly, um, not a game, uh, worldly uh, structure or a system of how to govern. Uh, God's teachings comes first. That's top priority. Right? That's what all world religions talked about and is talking about now through Master Okawa, is being talked about by Master Okawa. So, uh, a, they match. So, um, sorry, I'm just babbling all these things that's coming to my mind, but uh, I hope that today's words of wisdom will help you attain um, a greater uh, macro level understanding of Master's teachings, which really helps reform society. That's why Master Okawa has been fighting all the, um, the dangers in the world of a, um, an atheistic nation and totalitarian nations, uh, because those nations, in the end, uh, it turns into a hell on earth. So let us continue to spread true justice to bring happiness in a macro level. That'll be it for today. Thank you for joining and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.